how do you manage firefighting while also trying to collect the data to track KPIs? So it's you know, kind of like the, the juggling act of responding to the critical needs of the business today, while also wanting to think, plan long-term and strategically looking at, you know, let's call it like KPIs, the metrics, collecting data. They mentioned to make sure that you're getting jobs, work orders done, completed for every single job, even for emergencies. And so I think what, what they're trying to highlight is, you know, you, you kind of have to do both. Like don't sacrifice the short term for the long term. Don't sacrifice the long term for for the short term too. Any any thoughts there, Ramesh? How do you balance this? Again, a great question. It really tells us about real situation because when I look the numbers at US and North America, we are talking oh worldwide, we are still talking 50-60% reactive work. Yeah. Most organizations are, which is fire fighting mode all the time. And to do a good job, we need to have a good data. Trying to get it, it's always a fight. And when we talk to our technicians or talk to people, hey, we want data all filled out. And they say, oh, I'm busy in doing this repair. And when they're busy, they don't want to do much work. And that's a challenge, I understand. But we have to collect good quality data. Otherwise we cannot do improvements, okay? So we have to find what's happening and getting a quality data is a challenge. Yeah. Now, again, other side is, you are CMMS guy. What work order data is important to me? If I take a work order and ask in my class, many people, what data we want? If I work order, it has a, maybe 10 or 12 data elements. Which one is the most important I need to have it? Hardly anybody says, hey, we need to have an asset number. Asset number is the most important. If I don't have asset right number, that data, whatever I put is going to hang up from there. Yeah. It's not going to write part. So we have to select or tell, hey, these are the five or six important data element I need to have. Second thing, how we can make data input easier to me, CMMS system has a two component. CMMS is just in my mind, again, you are a guy, big gun there. CMMS is a data repository. It has input and output. Input is this work order data, how you want to put in the system quickly, easily. Mm -hmm. You know, my technician with a one button can put all these 10 points right there, wherever they have to go. If I go to Six screen used to be that way 30, 40 years ago that get a work order 10 data point, I may have to go six screen, you know, put something there, then go to next, put something there, put something there. And by the time I've done all these 10 data points, I've gone to six, seven screens. Technician not gonna do that. They may do one time, two times, three times. Let's make easier for our technicians. And I told my IT babas, hey, I want this. It's been 10 years, still I didn't get it. Of course, I'm not there now, but that's the way we have to think how we can make our technician job easier to get data in. Yeah. Okay. Once the data got in, then there's other problem. How get information out, Yeah. And knowledge out, so we can make a better decisions. I mean, th this is a really good question because it's 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 very real. It's coming from on the ground. And yes. I think oftentimes what we hear from our customers and people in the industry is, hey, look, would you rather me spend two hours inputting data or two yep. more hours repairing you know, and doing jobs? In fact, we have to also, it's not just technology. We have to educate our people. Exactly, and, yeah. Especially if you got uh, some old timers like me, and they're scared of inputting your data. So literally what we had to do was, we have to assign a support person to that area, okay? This person's job was to spend two hours or three hours every day there helping this technician. They will, he will review or she will review the data. It's not complete. He'll go and ask the technician, hey, come here. Maybe he was helping them to put the input the data in properly with a not completed, fixed. No, we want a lot more detail, quality data in. You know what you did, 
all details, you know. So yes, we did that for over almost year to years, year, year and a half. And that helped those technicians to learn in a hands-on kind of a training. And that really helped to get the data quality improved.